9.38, that's spectacular. Down at the other end of the ice, Tyler Beskarwani with a 4.04 goals against average. And I don't blame him for that number. Defense has not been up to par, and there have been two or three lucky goals in this series already. What does worry me a little is his 8.89 save percentage, and uh, you know that's something he's going to be concerned about. Cronax with the front just wide. Tipped in front, going to be knocked down by a high stick. No, it's good. Gal there with a shot. Scoop, save, loose puck, picked up. And away comes Philip Lane. See the latest highlight from Patrick Killeen. There was the scramble in front, and watch that. That almost looked like the Beskarwani goal. And change. Good roll. Look out, Beskarwani out of the net to send it around. Find it. Didn't see Clark coming in. Clark looking in front. Off the stick. Loose in front. They score. For the Kingston Frontenac's failure to clear the zone results in a turnover. Brampton does a really nice job. The defenseman pinching on the play, causing an odd man situation down low. They get one shot away. Beskarwani makes the initial save, but on the quick little rebound, right at the side of the net, they tuck it in behind the big Kingston goal see center. Clark coming in. Clark looking in front of the stick. There you see. Again, Clark right off the bench, just as the D change, barreling in, like you said, John, and that's the difference. Caught the fronts a little flat footed. So, Warwick and Alberga line up. Here's the goal call. Warwick down low, looking in front. He does slots, kick the head. Warwick picks it up, shot scores. What a shot by Ethan Warwick to tie it on the power play at one. Well, Ethan Warwick gets the big fat rebound, probably the first one Colleen's given up. In this game, and Ethan Warrick makes some pay. He showed terrific patience, though. Hung on to the puck, and then fired it up high over the Brampton goaltender. A minute five left in this game. A pretty timely goal for the France. Oh, you're right. If you're going to score last minute of a period, that can give you the energy you need to carry on. Here's the call. First of the playoffs, scored by number 25, Ethan. That's Albert all over him. Good pressure by the battalion on the penalty kill. Down low, Warwick circles off the boards down low, looking to shove it in his moon. Side of the net, it's loose. They score! Nathan Moon gives the front a 2 1 lead. And Nathan Moon showing good persistence down low. It looked like that puck was going to be covered up by Colleen, and he's not very happy with himself. He thinks he should have had it as well. But Nathan Moon pokes at it once. Colleen makes the save, and the second time he manages to sneak it underneath that big glove. For the first time since game one, the France have a lead. Two to one. 520 into the second period on a power play. To boot. Here's the call. The Branson pinches, Moon covers for him back two on three on two. Shot by Clark scores. Wow. Clark, the trailer on the play, had it teed up for him, and he made no mistake, ties the game at two. Heavy-duty slap shot. Clark got everything into that slapper, beating Beskarawani cleanly. Top corner, blocker side. That puck just ate up, Tyler Beskarawani. We'll see on the replay the trailer. Clark just wires it. It was a perfect pass. Thomas Stajan just put it right in the wheelhouse of Matt Clark, and Clark made no mistake at all. Just blistering that to the top. Gets a good backhand away. Clean with the save. The bar in front from Mark shot. Save Colleen. It's in the crease. Colleen didn't know where it was. Cruising fans on it right to Placata score. No, it's a skate that hit the back of the net. Colleen keeps it out. That was. Scary for the Brampton Battalion. Placatus with a wide open net. Colleen down. It was because of the play of number five, Matt Clark, getting in front of Placatus at the last second, taking all of the steam off of his shot. And Colleen down on all fours manages to cover up that shot. And I apologize. I saw the net bulge, and it was the skate of Colleen the black the net. toe. That's exactly there. what it was. Right there, you saw it on the screen. I, I just saw the net bulge, and that's what I noticed. But it was the skate. But boy, and the wing keeping it in. Let's get Branson back in in front. Tip the score. Mike Farrell deflects it in. Three-two fronts. And Mike Farrell reading that beautifully. Eric 
Branson gets the puck at the blue line. Can't get very much on it. He's skating away from the net. Let's a weak backhand go. But there's no one in front. And Mike Farrell manages to tip that puck by Patrick Killeen. Huge goal. And Colleen really didn't have a chance because of the redirect on it. He tried to get in position, and there you see it. Didn't get there into this. Oh, here we go. Short in a breakaway. Cody Hodgson. One on one with Beskowani. Tried to jam it tight. And it's underneath. Finally whistled down. The battalion say it's in, but Beskowani was right on the line. Beskowani. I lost the puck, but got it right back, steers it in deep. Down low, Porcatus with the bar in front, hit the crease shot, Harden scores! As the penalty expires, that, or rather, it was Michael Fine, Michael actually, Fine. who swatted that in. 27, Johnny on the spot, gives the Fronts a two-goal lead. And Michael Fine scoring a big goal here. Could be the insurance marker. And Michael Fine, who is red hot coming down the stretch, had 14 points in his last 15 games of the season. Considering how poorly he started this season, that was a great finish for him and a big goal here in game three. Franz first two goal lead of the series. 4-2 with under seven. The lead is in number 16, Mitch Lover. From him, three on one back the other way. Here comes Herndon with Moon going in. Herndon to Moon shot. What a save by Colleen. You're that one. Ed. Well, now I will. Five <laughs> seconds to go. Game five is coming up Friday night here at the K Rock Center, and it's a whole new series. Is it ever? And primarily because the Kingston Frontenacs played the way they're capable of playing. The first two games of this series. It was a team no one recognized. They were sloppy. It was, it was almost like their hearts weren't in it. But boy, oh boy, they came back here in game three and played the way we were used to seeing them play. Are they still in a hole? You're darn right they are. They've got to go back to Brampton. They haven't had a lot of success on the road in the playoffs. But here's hoping for the Kingston fans they can get it done. Mark Potter's got the post-game show coming up 4-2. France over the battalion in game three. It's a 2-1 series now for Brampton. Stay with us. Post-game show coming up. You're watching Playoff Edition of the OHL tonight on TV Coachico.